Hey all, um, it's Dino here with a GD review. Okay, what I'm going to be going through with you today is um, how to install um, a killboard from scratch for Eve Online. Now, Eve Online is an MMO RPG. Um, it's spaceships and stuff like that. If you've never played it before, you can get a 14-day free trial from uh, the Eve Online website. So give it a will. Okay, now uh, sh uh, straight to it then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through uh, from start to finish how to install um, your own personal killboard. Um, now you can add, uh, have it as a corporation killboard or whatever, but I'll go a little bit more into that in another video. Now I'm going to open this up. Okay, so what you've got here first of all is your control panel. Okay, this is in uh, the sub directories menu. Let's go back to home. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got all these ones here, and if you type in here uh, sub, uh, there you go subdomains. So yeah, come up straight away. You go to this, and you create a subdomain. So I've typed in killboard there. I put it there, and it basically creates uh, a dot of your subdomain. So so, um, but I've already done that. So I'm not going to actually recreate create another domain. I'm sorry about that. My microphone slipped down. Okay, so um, with that, okay, um, then you need to go to Eve Dev, um, uh, which the site address is um, Eve uh, ID dot net. Now you'll go into the forums. Uh, I don't think you actually have to sign up to the forums, but it's well worth it. I've been signed up for quite a while now. So you go to the killboard, and in general discussion, uh, general discussions, you've got the EDK 3.2. Now this is the entire pack that you need to download. Okay, so you've got the 3.2 pack there. Uh, so you click that there. Okay, you download it. As you can see, it's got one next to it, so I've already downloaded it once. Okay, so I'll go to the zip file where, what I've already opened. Okay, now you need to extract that somewhere where you can relatively find it pretty simply. And then you click extract. I've extracted it onto my desktop already, so I'm not going to do that again. So I'm going to take you over now to the desktop. Um, uh, so minimize that. Okay, so now what we've got here, uh, this folder here, is the 3.2 uh, forums. The only other thing you'll, you will need uh, to do this as well is you'll need an FTP, which I've chosen. Uh, I always use um, FileZilla, which is a pretty good FTP. Okay, so you click download client. Don't download the server because that's more more complicated to set up. So download the um, the client. Once you've done that, you'll have this. Okay, so this is my server. Okay, um, what you've got here is. Uh, just standard things really, the domain name, um, uh, username and password which you will get with the actual domain name. You'll be able to set up several um, FTP username and passwords. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do without further ado is I'm going to start uploading this packet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop this packet directly into there. Okay, and then I'm going to go uh, process queue. Okay, now, as you can see, there's uh, about one th uh, about uh, 1,437 files to actually process on this. So while this is actually uploading, I'm going to pause the um, pause recording, and I'll be back with you once it's finished. Okay. Okay. While it's still uploading, I'm going to go over uh, a few other th um, uh, one more thing that I need to mention to you. Okay, if you go back to your um, control panel um, and type PHP. Okay, you'll get my PHP admin, um, pill, uh, PHP pill packages, and then you've got um, PHP configuration. What we need to do on this is make sure that um, on this part here, where it's a safe mode, make sure that is actually turned off. If not, contact your um, um, your the host that you're renting off uh, the server and then um, ask them if they can actually turn that off for you because otherwise it might cause a few other issues okay let me just check on the file package now it's still uploading it's got about 400 more files to upload 
so um, I'll be back instantaneous for yourself but for me it would be a little bit longer Hi, um, so as you can see now all the files have been uploaded to the server and we've got one folder ok so the next thing to do is open that folder I like highlight all the files ok uh, find the keyboard folder there and basically drop all those files into there it shouldn't take no time at all um, what you'll get after this is basically you get all the files separated from the actual version number so what you wouldn't need to do is type in the keyboard name and then the version number so uh, there's nothing else in that folder so what we're going to need to do now is actually create a database um, probably the easiest way to do that is um, if you go down to um, MySQL, you've got uh, MySQL wizard. Okay, so, so what you need to do is uh, go through this wizard to create the database, follow the on screen instructions, and that will generally explain how to create the database. But I'm just going to run through this with you anyway, so I'm going to uh, put this database, call this database me. So it will basically be uh, the first part of the database underscore me okay then it will ask you to create um, in a few seconds once it loads okay it will ask you to create a username now I'm just going to call it um, I'm going to call it John by mistake okay then create a password so I'm going to create a relatively easy password you can automatically select to generate a password and it will generate a password for you which is much more complex okay so create user okay so what you need is uh, privileges now I recommend probably on this to um, you know keep keep it sort of like uh, all privileges so it can create and stuff like that um, and then you click next again okay so that's it that's the database created so uh, we we'll move on to the next thing now differences I am going to have at the end of it install okay so this is the install steps now for um, uh, the EVE Online keyboard okay so I'm going to click next okay now it says here it says uh, your version of PHP is okay uh, you have MySQL extensions installed and working okay graphics GD is available okay uh, directory structure okay that were all excellent on that configuration it says create uh, the file kbp uh, dot config so I'm going to copy that um, go back to me FTP um, I'm going to scroll down here okay let's so create a new file, file. It's a new. Uh, I'll do it in a text document. Okay, I'm going to change the name of this text document to KBP PHP. I'm going to open up the FTP minimized and I'm going to drop that straight into the actual keyboard folder right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the web server. I need to refresh this page. Okay. Um, and it's now. And now I need to make it writable, see? So I've made the actual file, but the only thing is, it's not actually accessible to the server. So from the outside, it's not. Uh, you can't actually use it. So what I need to do is get rid of the text off, of that, off the end of that, first of all. Okay, make sure that saves. Uh, I do apologise, the server keeps disconnecting. So, okay. So, go back down to PHP. I'm going to find the keyboard folder. Okay. Then the KB config that we just created. I'm just going to delete the end text off of that and then that saves that. Go to the permissions folder. Uh, I want to basically type 777 in there to make it readable, writable, and executable. Go back to the web browser and 
thingy okay so it's basically accessible now for us to continue okay everything is okay you've got no errors in that so click next okay so as you can see uh, testing is successful so we can now continue on to the next stage okay it's just in for imported um, a load of tables into the um, uh, files and it's basically saying reading them so uh, basically uh, we want to create them so click next okay so it's reading the packets okay it's passed on all these it's failed on a few of these okay so um, what you want to do is um, it's the next part the next stage is you want to do is import the data okay uh, there's a few uh, it's going to go through now on this next stage or um, few of the options but now it's actually importing uh, the the ones that it failed on it's importing all of them okay so it's failed on that one uh, which is uh, invite types so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the next step okay 47 structures uh, all, all tables have, have passed you can now create um, you can now create a uh, or search uh, your corporation so click next step okay so all I'm going to do is I'm going to basically search for myself um, which in game basically okay so my username in game is that okay it's not going to do a search of the actual thing okay, there you go there I am okay uh, your selection has been saved please proceed okay click next Okay, so administrator password. I'm just going to create something very simple that I want to remember. So I'll have a key keyboard. I'm going to put. Um, um, oh, I don't know. I, I'll, I'm going to put I own. <laughs> uh, it's not. It's not. I mean, basically, you can uh, thingy uh, set the uh, title site and stuff like that, and it appears at the top of the page when you go to it. I'm going to put uh, um, my actual. Um, name so I'm going to put uh, the G, uh, GD review okay so I'm going to click next okay and that's it your keyboard is now completely done okay so basically you got the admin passwords and stuff like that that you set um, I can't remember which one it was uh, whether that's going to work yet okay so we're into the admin um, keyboard title you got all the general stuff um, on this so it's it's all set up um, just to basically go it's back to the home page um, and you can actually add API keys into this as well and all sorts of stuff uh, but that's it for now don't forget to rate comment and comment and subscribe thank you very much